Hello, my loves. What's going on? Jasmine Atten, Mystic at the Crossroads here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to prepare a dragon's blood candle. This is a candle that I am preparing for a ritual I'm going to be doing a little later on tonight. And this particular candle, I don't see a lot of information out there on it. Dragon's blood candles are extremely powerful. They are one of the best candles that you can burn either by themselves or you can add them alongside something like let's say a jinx remover candle to clear away blockages and bad luck to offer protection you could pair them with a improved business candle if you're trying to improve your business start a business um, increase sales increase production you can add them to maybe a road opening or a cleansing candle they can be burned for love, for protection, for personal power. They're a great all, I don't, I want to say all purpose all around, but with a boost. And if you think about the energy behind a dragon, what that symbolizes and how much magical, mystical, and spiritual power that would come. If you think about the way a dragon would work, how it would just be a strong, powerful, go-getting energy that would make things happen. That's how dragon blood candles work. This particular candle is a cocktail candle. You will notice it has the little um, wax cubes at the top. It may be a bit hard to see. This candle is also dressed, I find it interesting that they dress this candle with jasmine flowers. Um, it smells very good, but of course, what do we do with seven day candles? Whether they're cocktail candles and they come prepare or not, we always add our own energy to them and we add a little bit of extras. Uh, the good thing about this candle is you can dress it, for example, with your money spice, your money herbs, if you were doing a money ritual. You could dress it with your road opening. You could dress it with your love herbs in addition to what it already comes with. But I'm going to dress it with its baseline. And what I mean by baseline is with its own properties, dragon's blood. I have here some dragon's blood resin. This I got from House of Intuition. You can order this and pretty much get it almost anywhere. And dragon's blood comes from a tree. So this is the actual resin. I also have some dragon's liquid dragon's blood resin and the reason why it's called dragon's blood if you look at it it's dark red it's so dark red it's almost black it also coagulates it gets um it gets hard you can't really see it in the bottle but just like how blood clots it clots like blood it's very thick but so thick let me see if i can do a little drop for you guys yeah, see that? It literally looks like blood. This one that I got came from someone who went to Peru and brought it back. And this one, um, Dragon's Blood, is safe to consume. At least this one is. And I put this in my water and I drink it. It's great for digestive issues. When you put it in water and shake it up, it creates a lot of oxygen. So it oxygenates water. So that's why I take it internally. But I also use it to prepare my candles. You can get dragon's blood oil. It's very easily to be obtained. Um, you could make some dragon's blood oil yourself by just simply taking the resin. And I would grind it up or get a nice little piece, a nice little size of the resin and uh, let it soak in a bottle of a light carrier oil, maybe like an almond oil or, there we go, an almond oil. Um, maybe a sunflower oil, something of that. Dragon's blood is very easy. It's very soft, so it's easy to break up and crush and manipulate, especially if you have a motor and pestle. And I'm going to, I don't want it too fine, which is almost kind of hard to do with this particular one, but you guys can see, it's just a little bit. You don't need too much. And uh, I am going to put some holes in my candle, which I didn't do that first. Bear with me because, hold on. I wasn't really planning to do a video, so I'm kind of doing this as I go. But we have our handy dandy barbecue skewer from Dollar Tree. And I love these. I buy them by the pack and I use them for my candles. 
So we're going to place the holes in them. I'm going in a clockwise motion because this particular candle is being used to bring something in. The holes also help so that the oils that you put down don't just sit on the top of the candle and end up burning up, but they actually seep down into the candle. It's also important for you to add a little drop of oil to your candles on a daily basis so as they burn down, the candle remains dressed. So I'm going to take my dragon's blood resin and I'm going to actually, <clears throat> it's a little bit easier for me to do it this way. My nails are long. Hold it in my hand. I'm going to set my intentions over it. And then I'm going to sprinkle it in my candle. Now again, the reason why I say this is my base is because I'm gonna layer this candle with some other herbs for the intended purpose. So this is gonna go in first. And that little bit, we waste nothing around here. So this little bit, I'm gonna end up putting back into the jar so I can use it for another spell. Um, I have some other herbs here. Give me one second. That I'm gonna set my intention for. And for sake of just confidentiality, I'm not gonna go into what I'm using this candle for, but I've given you guys a pretty clear rundown of the different ways that you can use it, okay? And that's pretty much it. This candle will be lit. It's going to be paired with a few other candles that I'm gonna be charging tonight. Um, this candle, does it come with a prayer? This one doesn't come with a prayer, but that's okay. Of course, you can write your petition, speak your words of intention over it. Um, there's a certain set of things in the petition that I'm gonna be speaking over the candle. Allow this to sit on the altar and burn over a course of seven days. Dragon's blood candles are very easily obtainable. They are available in most botanicas. You can find them online. You can try Amazon, you can try Etsy, you can try eBay, um, Indio products. Dot com. Well, they're hit or miss. Sometimes you can find them at Indio Products. Sometimes you can't. But I would say best bet. Check your local botanicas again. These are very fairly easy candles to find. I just find that a lot of people don't know how to work with them because they just say dragon's blood. They really don't tell you what they're for. I promise you, add this candle to your spiritual work. Add this candle on your altar. Add it to the candles that you're burning. And you will not only see the results come faster, but whatever you're asking for will be amplified. So it'd be faster, it'd be quicker, it'd be powerful. This candle works, get you one. All right, my loves, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment box below. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so YouTube circulates this content so we can all help and grow together. I love you guys, and if you'd like to speak to me privately, you can find me at my website at oneritualaway.com. Bye.